Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can move and animate your elements across the page in the direction that you want rather than in the direction that Canva wants. So let's go over and have a look how to do this. Right. So the very first one I'm going to show you, I have just added two elements into this design. So these are all are all here. This is part of my design. So you've got your design and you want to move something on it. I have this net. I have this butterfly. Don't ask me why I went for there. I just thought, what could I use that, to actually move across the screen that will show you how this is done? So I've gone for a butterfly and a net. The butterfly is animated. As you can see, it's moving. The net is static. So you can do this with both animated and static elements. I will just make these a bit smaller. So they fit on my design nicely, dragging in the corners. I'm going to put them together so it looks like the net's trying to catch the butterfly, but it's not going to. The next thing we need to do, get your mouse and drag it across both of those elements and then click group. So they are grouped together. They are now one. We want them both to do the same thing at the same time. So if they're grouped, it will definitely help. The next thing we need to do, click on your group of elements, head up to animate at the top. Just move me up a bit there. It's this one here. It's called custom. OK, it's a fantastic little feature in Canva. There's lots of other ones that you can use. Um, but you don't have a lot of control over how they're actually moved. We want this one, create your own animation. Now it shows you a little example here of how to do it and some tips on doing this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dragging my net and my butterfly across the page in the direction that I want them to go. And you can see the lovely little purple line that is appearing behind. So my design will now follow that route over and over again. And you can see that we've had some extra things have appeared on the left hand side. So we've got original smooth. So it will now make it smoother. I can change the speed, slow, fast, however you want it to go. And you can add in some additional features here, some add on features. When I hover over them, you can see they change. So I could go for, say, this one, click done and then press play. And we now have it doing what I wanted it to do across the screen. Right. So the second way to do this is using the transition match and move. You do need two pages, so you need to duplicate your page and I will show you why in a moment. We're going to use match and move to just move from one side of the screen to the other and stop. You can go back again if you want to. It's up to you, but I'm just going to show you the one way so you can see what I mean. Right. So this is my design. This is where I want my elements to start and I want them to finish up over here. I'm going to duplicate this page by clicking the three dots that comes up on the bottom page. If you want to know how to get to this bar here, it's this one here. Let me move me out of the way. It's this one here. Scroll view, which is this one up and down or click it again and you get thumbnail view. You want it in thumbnail view because we want these two little stars at the bottom. So can you see we've got two little stars here? We want this section here. Click on that. You're opening your transitions and it's this one, match and move. This is the one you want to select. So we want on page one here, page two, we move it across the page to here. Press this, select match and move and change your duration, however long you want it to last. Press play. And now Canva will, I can shorten the, the page time, will move it from one to the other. So you've got your two pages and you're telling Canva on this page, you want it here. And on the second page, you want it to end up here. 
And by adjusting the match and move transition in the middle, Canva will move it from one place to the other. Now, the, the pages also have a time to them. So we want to change the duration of the pages. If I click duration at the bottom, 4.4 seconds, you can see it says there, and this one's 4.4 seconds. So it's, it's spending a lot of time on the page. We don't really want it to spend a lot of time on the actual page. So I can shorten it to say 1.9 seconds, and I'll shorten this one to say 1.9 seconds as well. Drag them closer. And then if I click play, if we go to play up here, it's now a lot quicker either end. So we haven't got that 4.4 seconds waiting at the beginning and waiting at the end before our transition goes through. So that is how you do two different moves across the page. I hope the second one is clear. Um, it can be a bit fiddly because you do need to two pages and you need to just adjust and select your match and move in the middle, adjust your duration if you want to. And then once you've done that, click on duration at the bottom. You can then make those pages shorter so they're not as long. We had 4.4 seconds. I wanted to make it a lot shorter. So I dragged it together and it has made it shorter for me. Right, that is it. I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of ways that you could move elements across the page and have more control over it. I really hope you've enjoyed these.